What's up, gang? Welcome back to another Monday episode. Today, we're gonna be talking about real estate photography and how you can use it to put some easy money in your pocket. So, as with life in general, there are easy ways to do things and there's the hard way to do it. And 90% of the time, I would say to just go ahead and do it the hard way because nine times out of 10, it's the right way. And if you do it the easy way, you're taking shortcuts and you're probably gonna end up having to redo it anyway. But in this case, we're gonna work smarter, not harder. And the smart way just so happens to be a piece of cake. So the hard way involves setting up a bunch of different flashes, doing a bunch of masking and layering in Photoshop, painting yourself out of the images in Photoshop. It's just insane. The smart way just involves a camera and a tripod. So let's dive in and get, get the show on the road. So what we have here are six shots that we took of the same setting at different exposures. And what we tried to do was achieve a full spectrum of light. We've got super exposed all the way down to underexposed. So we're gonna take all six of these photos, just select all. We're going to right click, go into photo merge, and we're going to use HDR. And here we are. This is a great starting point. And what we're gonna do is hit merge. And as this is creating our HDR photo, we will have a seventh photo sitting here that is all combined. We're going to highlight that and we're gonna go into develop mode. All right, so here we are with our HDR photo. Lightroom has gone ahead and taken these first six photos and smashed them all into one awesome HDR photo. The highlights are represented, the shadows are represented. It's a little dark over here, but not to worry because we are going to further process this image to make it look its very best. And the very first thing that I really like to do when processing is go down here to lens corrections and check these two boxes. Uh, remove chromatic aberration and enable lens corrections or enable profile corrections. Uh, this is the lens profile that I was shooting. Uh, it was a Rokinon 14 millimeter 2.8 lens. And basically what happens here is that Lightroom fixes your image to make it look its very best by correcting any distortion or vignetting or anything like that. It makes it easier to go ahead and, and sweeten this image a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brighten these shadows just a tiny little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring these highlights down just so nothing here is blown out and we can see outside. We want this to be as represented as the shadows. So I'm gonna bring those highlights down even a little bit more and take those shadows and boost them up just a tiny bit. When people hear about HDR photos, they tend to get pretty scared because everyone thinks an HDR photo, you know, looks something like this. And that's not the case. That's not what we want. We want our photos to look as natural as possible. HDR is short for high dynamic range, which means we're collecting a full spectrum of shadows and highlights. By putting together all of these different exposures, you can see shadows and highlights on a more level playing field. Here's what we started with. And this is where we're at now. Typically, I leave all of the lights off. When I shoot real estate, I walk into the house, I open all the windows, and I turn the, all the lights off. Now, in this particular house, these cabinets were really dark, and so we left a light on in here so that we can you know, kind of help out those shadows over there. 
Now, the problem is our light temperatures between daylight and this tungsten light over here are different and it makes this look super orange. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select our orange and we're gonna go down to our saturation. And what we're gonna do is just desaturate that orange. So now that that is, you know, black and white, we took our oranges away. What we can do is go down here to our luminance slider and we can brighten those areas now as if we had specific control over just that area. I'm just gonna boost these shadows a tiny bit more. Nothing crazy, we don't want anything to look unnatural. That was the image that we were given and that is where we're at right now. We're going to use a graduated filter. burn or darken and we want this area of the house to stay nice and bright but this area we want to darken up a tiny little bit so we can still see outside and what we're gonna do is just go ahead and bring those highlights down a tiny little bit and we can go down here select our greens and go ahead and boost those up a tiny bit so you can see the nice green grass outside. And there we go. This image is good to go. And instead of going through this house and having to set up a flash over in this corner and maybe set up a flash behind this couch to highlight this, and then maybe set up another flash back here in the kitchen somewhere to highlight this area. Instead of doing all of that, what we did was just took a camera and a tripod and we shot all of these bracketed shots at different exposures to represent a full spectrum of light. It was pretty simple from there. All we had to do was make a few adjustments to make this photo look as natural as possible because that's what we want. We do not want fake, disgusting looking HDR photos. That's it gang. That's how you shoot some stunning real estate photos and put some serious money in your pockets. If you need portfolio shots or example shots to show your client to get your first job, you can always shoot your own house or shoot your friend's house. It's super easy and then you can stockpile some images in order to show different examples. If you guys enjoyed this video, please get down there and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing brand new content from this channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll see you guys later.